Hello my awesome viewers. It's your boy the goddamn Microsoft Sam back once again with a special installment of Cowboy Shorts. In today's episode, we are going to tell you a brief history of the famous speech application programming interface Whistler Engine, at the request of Billy O'Reilly. This engine, commonly known as Sappy for short, is what got me, Mike, Mary, Scotty, and the rest of our crew famous. So, without further delays, let's start by traveling back all the way to 1995 with our first version, and forgotten version, of this engine. This version was SAPI 1.0. SAPI 1.0 was the first version of the Whistler engine that was released in 1995, and was supported in Windows 95 and Windows NT 3.51. This version included low-level direct speech recognition and direct text-to-speech APIs which applications could use to directly control engines, as well as simplified higher-level voice command and voice talk APIs. Even though this was a forgotten version, it did bring out many useful features which is still being used in today's SAPI 5.4. Two years later, SAPI 3.0 was released. It added limited support for dictation, speech recognition, discrete speech, not continuous, and additional sample applications and audio sources. Still some useful features that are still being used by SAPI 5.4. One year later is when the big guns came in. SAPI 4.0 was released. This version of SAPI included both the Corecom API, together with C wrapper classes to make programming from C easier and ActiveX controls to allow drag-and-drop visual basic development. This was shipped as part of an SDK that included recognition in Synthesis engines. It also shipped with Synthesis engines only in Windows 2000. The main components of the SAPI 4 API which were all available in C, COM, and ActiveX flavors were voice command, high-level objects for command and control speech recognition, voice dictation, high-level objects for continuous dictation speech recognition, voice talk, high-level objects for speech synthesis, voice telephony, objects for writing telephone speech applications, direct speech recognition, objects for direct control of recognition engine, direct text-to-speech, objects for direct control of synthesis engine, audio objects for reading to and from an audio device or file, this version was the first version to include me, Mike, Mary, Scotty, and the rest of the Speakonia crew, although me, Mike, and Mary were a part of the Windows 2000 crew. Although this only lasted for two years. Because two years later, the SAPI 5 family was under development, starting with SAPI 5.0. This version shipped in late 2000, as part of the Speech SDK version 5.0, together with version 5.0 recognition and synthesis engines. The recognition engines supported continuous dictation and command and control and were released in US English, Japanese and simplified Chinese versions. In the US English system, special acoustic models were available for children's speech and telephony speech. The synthesis engine was available in English and Chinese. This version of the API and recognition engines also shipped in Microsoft Office XP in 2001. Speaking of SAPI 5 and 2001, three new robots were built, and their names were Microsoft Sam X, Mike Z, and Mary Y, commonly known as Natural Sam, Natural Mike and Natural Mary, all bundled with SAPI 5.1. This version shipped in late 2001, as part of the Speech SDK version 5.1. Automation compliant interfaces were added to the API to allow use from Visual Basic, scripting languages such as JScript, and managed code. This version of the API and text-to-speech engines were shipped in Windows XP, Windows XP Tablet PC Edition in Office 2003 also include this version but with a substantially improved version 6 recognition engine in traditional Chinese. SAPI 5.2, released in 2004, was a special version of the API, for use only in the Microsoft Speech Server. It added support for SRGS and SSML markup languages, as well as additional server features and performance improvements. The speech server also shipped with the version 6 desktop recognition engine and the version 7 server recognition engine. SAPI 5.3, released in 2006, is the version of the API that ships in Windows Vista together with new recognition and synthesis engines. As Windows speech recognition is now integrated into the operating system, the speech SDK and APIs are a part of the Windows SDK. SAPI 5.3 includes the following new features. Support for W3C XML speech grammars for recognition and synthesis. 
The Speech Synthesis Markup Language, SSML, version 1.0, provides the ability to mark up voice characteristics, speed, volume, pitch, emphasis, and pronunciation. The Speech Recognition Grammar Specification, SRGS, supports the definition of context-free grammars, with two limitations, it does not support the use of SRGS to specify dual-tone modulated frequency, touch tone, grammars. It does not support augmented Bacchus and Dash nor form, a BNF. Support for semantic interpretation script within grammars. SAPI 5.3 enables an SRGS grammar to be annotated with JavaScript for semantic interpretation to supplement the recognized text. User specified shortcuts in lexicons, which is the ability to add a string to the lexicon associated with a shortcut word. When dictating, the user can say the shortcut word and the recognizer will return the expanded string. Additional functionality and ease of programming, provided by new types. Performance improvements, improved reliability, and security. Version 8 of the Speech Recognition Engine, Microsoft Speech Recognizer. Sadly, no, SAPI 5.3 finally cut it off support for Sam X, Mike Z, and Mary Y, and were replaced by Microsoft Anna, but SAPI 5.3 was completely crap due to Windows Vista's crap performance until Service Pack 2. But Windows Vista was already left in the dumps by the time Service Pack 2 and Windows 7 were released. Windows 7 also introduced a new version of SAPI 5, called SAPI 5.4, which is still being used in Windows 10 v 1909 as of January of 2020. This was just an updated version of the API. And that concludes this special short. Now you know a lot about the speech application programming interface with our engine. Here's something you should know, SAPI 5.0 was only shipped with Wizard Beta 1 builds. It never got a light of day in a full release build, but it was available for download. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope you have a very great day. Peace out.